Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome to a brand new series, the premise of which is the following. Me, Hollow, Evans, and Fluke have to buy one other person, randomly, a game. Now, this game can literally be any game in the existence of creation, and the other person has to play that game, do a serious and positive review on it, even though they're probably going to hate their life while playing it, and at the end, you guys will vote on who has managed to pull that off in the best manner. So, hi guys. No. Hola. Oh. Hello, uh, how, does it, how does it feel? It, it screwed up. It hurts, hurts man. It I know what I do now. I'm so <laughs> I'll change. <laughs> so, it's guys, like Scrooge. <laughs> All right, guys. So, the next step is to reveal what each other has got, which is going to be <laughs> well, apart from the one for me. Anyway, in a bit. All right, Rage. Now, guess why? What why whenever it? you say "All right, Rage," is it like your rap? Like, legitimately, it's, it's you say "All right, Rage" right, right, perfectly. Uh, go. Going that, a bit off that, topic. Yeah. I'm, no, I don't care. I'm going to distract you for as long as possible because the amount of choices Josh, that I Josh, know. Okay. Josh, shut up. <laughs> I had so, so many good ideas, but it was obvious oh, I had. You? Wait, wait. Name the two Let's Plays you've cancelled. I. <laughs> no, I. No, I'm not going to name them at there was all. Amnesia. Yeah, no, and there Dead wasn't. Space. No, there wasn't either. Why did you cancel game? them, Rage? What? Why did you cancel them? Because they mechanically were bad games, and I've I had enough this one? playing well, them. Because he's shit scared of horror games. No, I'm not. I'm not scared of horror games. I am giving you one of the best horror games I have ever played. It's called Nightmare House 2. Ooh. Have you ever heard of it? I don't think I've heard I'll of that. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I have heard. I think I have heard of that. It looked really fucked up. It so, is full of jump scares and things that will make you scream. So oh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh my god! I'm oh, so my god. one. I feel like I could win this. Okay, I've, I've <laughs> made, I've made, I've made peace. I've what, made what, what have you done? But no, no. He's no. He's <laughs> Me? <laughs> done, done anything? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? I feel, I, you know, guys. Honestly, I don't think this series was a good idea. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think we should. We're doing this. I don't think we should. Doing this. I don't think We've we all got to do this. Dude, please. This I don't. You know how I feel about horror games. Why would you do this? The best part is you need to enjoy it, and you get you... bonus points if you get to the part with the mannequins. That's you free are just doing a game that's not good, but you're having to like it. I'm going to be in pain. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a game where I'm just going to be shouted at. You hey, 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 hey! You know what we should do? We should force upon him. You know. Maybe put a face cam on that, Josh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> face cam. Not, no, I don't think there needs to be a face cam. <laughs> I, it'd just be my super serious, not at all scared face for the duration <laughs> of the video. What are you talking about? I am so looking forward to this now. I am so happy. I think I'm going to win this first round. I think it's mine. Although I'm a firm believer in every cloud of the silver lining. And at least... I... At least you didn't give me elevator sauce. That's really yeah, all I can... It was awfully tempting. I'm not <laughs> That's really all I can say here. Well, the thing is, depending on how this takes off, this could become a series. <laughs> Ooh, I don't. Series. I don't. Series. I Every time Josh's game is just going to be a horror game. It just is, isn't yeah. it? You people are horrible. <laughs> like, you've taken it beyond. You've awesome. not only given me a game I don't like, you've given me one that will literally deeply scar me. <laughs> Uh, uh. Well, I look forward to seeing your review, which should begin in right about three out. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my review on Nightmare House 2. I cannot wait to get into this, as you all know. I absolutely love horror games. They are completely my favourite. When Evans told me uh, that I was to get Nightmare House 2, I was secretly overjoyed because I knew I was going to win round one. Because I just, I appreciate and love horror games. And Evans! <sighs> you don't know when. You don't know how. But revenge will swiftly fall upon you, and to do that I have to win. So prepare for the most professional review, positively, you've ever fucking seen, you dick. <sighs> okay. Whoa! 
Welcome to Nightmare House 2, everybody. This is a mod for Half-Life 2, Episode 2. You require all of that to play. You also have to have the Source SDK 2006 and 2007 installed on Steam. It is a sequel to the original Nightmare House, obviously. A story where you find yourself sort of... Well, in a nightmare house. Shit goes down. Ghosts. Scary stuff. It's a lovely experience, and Nightmare House 2 is more of the same, but with a lot more scare. I have finished the prologue, just to get grips of the game, like all good reviewers should, and the pr story so far is thus. You've crashed in a forest, you've stumbled up to the Nightmare House, you've gone in, you've tried to find help, you've been attacked by a vengeful ghost who sets the undead minions on you as you try and fight for survival. You break out of the house, you run to your car, only to be stopped by the ghost as you find yourself waking up in the padded room of an insane asylum. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's gonna be fun. So much fun. The, the, the best kind of fun. Now, because I really believe in putting across the best possible experience for you guys, because this is a game that you need to get because it's fantastic, I have turned all the lights off in my room. The only light is going from the smidgen of sunlight that is left above the horizon to really get myself in to the wonderful Nightmare House 2 experience. The graphics, as you can see, are Half-Life 2 quality, outdated by today's standards, but still perfectly served. Serviceable. We've woken up in this padded cell. What do we do after escaping the Nightmare House? The door happens to be open. Chapter 1. Rebirth. The mod, of course, by Hen Mazonski. And everything is lovely. The controls, as you would imagine, are Half-Life 2. If you've played it, I mean, you, I would assume you've played Half-Life. If you haven't played Half-Life, basically stop this video and go play Half-Life. The controls are the same. We will be given weapons later on. You know, ability to fight back, that's always nice in a horror game. And if I find myself staying in this corridor, that's nothing to do with my apprehension at all. That's fine, this game is wonderful. I can't wait, I'm so excited to be able to show it to you all. I can't wait to just prove that this is a game that you definitely need to be. The flickering lights, a really nice atmospheric touch. A really good set piece opening, you've escaped yourself. You've escaped yourself. And... You're going down the corridor, and the ghost is there, and that was that was what it would be like if I was actually scared of the game, which of course I'm not. It's it's a fantastic game that you definitely need to be playing. Okay, that's fine. The door is closed. Security alert! Area under lockdown. Ooh, Please remain that's calm. That's nice. And wait Getting in with the story. Assistance. We've got our dead guard person over there. That's lovely. I'm going to play for about 15 minutes for you guys. Really get you a good feel of what you can expect. Don't want to play too far into it. Don't want to ruin the immersive storyline of this game. It really drags you into it. And it's really, really worth playing. Absolutely. I'm just going to brazenly walk down this corridor. Nothing, of course, is going to happen. I'm sure of that. The, the me going around this table and taking this with me is nothing. Nothing to do with apprehensiveness. Nothing at all. See? Nothing going on in that room. It's fantastic. You know the bare bo bones. It's a mod for Half-Life 2. The controls are Half-Life 2-ish. I'm just going to show you. Give my opinions as we go throughout. This is going to be a great hands-on first impressions review. So far, I'm loving this game. It's absolutely fantastic. I've acquired me a flashlight, which is great. Let's me see, of course, the darkened areas. Really good for creating extra atmosphere. As we can see from the security cameras. Let's pull that lever. Security alert rescinded. Lockdown. The lockdown has been removed. Awesome. I've achieved things today. Let's open that door. Hello. That door's. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Look, if you want to get out of here, then do exactly as I say. I know you have a lot of questions, but for now it's absolutely vital that you get here as quickly as you can. First, we're going to need to get you armed. Head to the cafeteria, then to the kitchen. You'll find a surprise waiting for you there. You'll need it. 
decent voice acting, as can be expected for a modding crew made of just normal people wanting to put their own spin on the Half-Life 2 formula using this mod. Very good storyline set up so far, you've got a mystery helper, a classic plot device in horror games. I, I you know, I am impressed so- So far, it's uh, definitely an interesting concept, the ghost very much making a pleasant companion as we as we go down this game. I feel like we should go down this corridor. Maybe it would be recommended that I have my flashlight on. It seems a little bit of a dark corridor. We'll go casually back to the start of the corridor. That's okay. I mean, you can see I'm really getting into it for you guys because I love horror games and I'm not actually scared at all, but I'm really trying to convey via my superb acting the best possible horror experience that you could get out of this game. I really want to let you guys know why you should be playing this fantastic experience that really is once in a lifetime that, you know, I'm so glad Evans really chose it for me because I was hoping Security alert. for something Patient leaving cell block with like no escort. This. Security and medical staff proceed to the cell detention area immediately. I can't wait to meet the security and medical staff. They're going to be great people. Very fun. Generally acceptable. Nice rubble. I mean, you won't want to escape too easily in this nightmare house. This is the cafeteria. I am supposed to be here. Need to go into the kitchens afterwards. Let's step into the room. See, very nice atmosphere, everything's destroyed, you can really tell this was a cafeteria. Very good environment creation, I can tell a lot of thought has gone into this. Into this. You can really appreciate the atmosphere and the story crafting that they're attempting to do. It really is, really is wonderful. And see, in the, in the kitchen, as promised, is a lovely surprise for me. So, you see, you are armed in this game, you can fight back. What we'll be fighting is a mixture of enemies. As we can see, this guy is very not happy with his life. He cooked some food, turns out he's not a very good chef. It literally killed and then zombified him. His face permanently frozen in a sort of <laughs> type mask. I mean, it probably didn't help that an axe was buried in his stomach. That probably didn't help at all. But here, you find chef. Look, there you go. Your head has a bath. See, the classic Half-Life noises, the lovely sound of a crowbar swinging, even though it's an axe, really makes you feel at home and lets you know that this is... <laughs> a mod for Half-Life 2! And classic scare tactics used by the game to make it make you really get into it, making the alive guy that I definitely have already made sure was dead get up anyway and attack me, then unlocking the door. Here, fine sir, have your tin bath back. You really, you really deserve it. You're a very, very good chef, and it's honestly a disappointment that you are dead. I would have very much loved to sample some of your food. Come at me, bros. I'm armed now. Like, a common example in horror games is to arm the player. Arming the player gives them a sense of security, because you can at least attempt to fight back. Unlike Amnesia's approach, which in contrast doesn't arm the player at all, it lets you indeed only be able to fear and run from the monsters. In this game, you, like, you are given a more hands-on approach, the ability to properly attack everything that you're fighting, which is a nice change for me as a veteran horror player with thousands of hours of horror experience under my belt, making me definitely the best person uh, to contribute. Nice foreshadowing, again a great plot device, knowing that I will need the axe, just fills my heart with joy because there's going to be lots of lovely enemies. That was just a door opening, I just wanted to see if I could catch you off guard by changing my voice as the door opened, just to really, really make you see that this game could potentially be scary if you were, unlike me, actually affected by horror games. I of course am not scared at all about anything 
that is happening. I am just doing my best as a really quality top-notch reviewer to act and show you the best way to appreciate this horror game. It really is phenomenal. I mean, I just don't want this review to end because it's going to be so fantastic. It really is. I'm just going to go up to this ladder. A little bit of puzzle solving here. Couldn't really find the ladder. A little bit of puzzles into the game. That's always nice. There's nothing quite like having to frantically solve a horror puzzle while being chased by various ghoulish enemies. I'm quite happy for this opportunity. Again, I want to thank Evans from the bottom of my soul very much for his contribution. If we get on to this, everything's looking pretty good. We can hammer this axe a bit. Doesn't really do anything for me at that particularly. But that's okay. Oh, okay, I see. So it is a little bit of puzzles. You can slide this along put it there because we need to get in there and get our Gordon Freeman on. This of course is a nice homage paid to Half-Life 2, the game that this is a mod of, by letting the main character, you, go through some vents. And what better way to set up horror suspense than going through some vents. I have to say, so far, I'm very appreciative of this game. The controls feel responsive and tight and everything works how you expect. <laughs> It too. The torch, of course, a bit unreliable. You did find it in a rundown asylum. You know, I'm going to stop looking behind me. Behind me! Because this honestly, it's not really that worth it. That scream is what is you can kind of experience. I mean, obviously, it didn't actually Please scare me, as I keep saying. It just is something that I would like to show you. A nice, this creepy a intercom voice, completely serious, contrasting, of course, with the horror that the player is f feeling. A nice homage to a game I played, Doom, where the camera does in fact show you someone walking up to you. It also pays homage to the prison part, Nova Prospect of Half-Life 2, a game that this is a mod from, by having the camera show a zombie approaching you. Excuse me while I kill this archaic computer equipment for its heresy. Hollow would appreciate this room, it does come equipped with tea. I will leave that there, okay? Because Evans, I want you to imagine this is your computer. Fuck you and fuck your shit. Yes. In fact, no, imagine it's your face. Yeah. Yeah. The f Ugh. Professional mode. Engage. We'll continue. After being in that office, everything's nice going on. Ooh. So we have another little puzzle here. Or do I have to un unlock the lockdown? Open! The doors. And we can continue on our merry journey in this wonderful wonderful horror experience. Truly a top class creation that you guys really, really need to be a part of. I'm going to go into this nice, safe looking office, attempt to close the door behind me. And now I'm armed. Isn't that lovely everybody? Now that I have a gun, I really feel safer as a player. It's nice to give you some shooting elements in a horror game. Really a lot like Good. Doom. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Romero, and like you, I'm stuck in this hellhole. There's been complications, and as a result, we're cut off. It's just you and I here, all alone, in a manner of speaking. Good news is, I've heard that they're sending him. God damn it, I'm losing you. Look, I'll explain everything when you get to me. I'm unlocking the elevator doors for you. Just keep it fancy. Lovely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lovely. The fuck do you want, you piece of shit? Not scared of you! I'm gonna fucking shoot you. Yeah, sprinting. What do you want? Die! That is called the aggressive response to horror, something you can also experience in this game. Unlike the original Nightmare House, this game has gone with a much more extensive storyline, with dialogue and other characters for you to sympathise with, for you to help you, and to really help you along in your journey through this fantastic, fantastic horror experience that I am really loving every single second of. It really is a pleasure to play. That was chapter one, everybody. We'll play five minutes into chapter two, really get you hooked on the storyline, because you should really play this game. 
it really is phenomenal. 10 out of 10, at least so far. Well, I don't want to get ridiculous. It might, it's not. There is a few fundamental flaws, a few things that I'm wondering. So, I'll give it a proper score once I've finished it, this. My hands-on first impressions playtest that I am indeed doing for you guys today. I really, really love my... Okay, we're good. We're good, everybody. The elevator has fixed itself. That's... No! God! <laughs> I've got six bullets! Hey, everybody! Hey, Dr. Nick! Death can happen in this game. And if it does, all you need to do is simply load. As I didn't save, I will be going back to the last checkpoint, which was, of course, the elevator. I feel like this time, I need to be a little more speedy, yeah, with my exiting of the elevator. The ghost woman is, of course, the main antagonist. She wants you dead. She can't physically interact with you, but she will affect the environment as such. Perfect example. Thank you, ghost woman. And summon enemies to try and destroy you, which is obviously a very nice touch. Everyone does like a little bit of paranormal activity after all. And now we're in the lovely hospital department. Clearly that way is not meant for us. And here we have a classic zombie half-life enemy. That was an example of someone being not accurate on the first two shots. That, again, was just to show you that missing is possible, and you do need to properly aim. Care to ensure the comfort and tranquility of our patients. See? You can find vending machines and television sets in all waiting areas. Please enjoy them as you wait. See, like Never Lose Hope Hospital, I have also never lost hope because Firstly, I'm not at all scared of this game, and secondly, I really do appreciate the great lengths the mod creator has gone to create the most fidelic, authentic, poltergeist experience as you try and escape your way into uh, this lovely hospital, trying to meet your fellow scientists. Get up, zombie. Here we have a classic example of Is It Really Dead? Taken from Dead Space. Probably will trigger when I make progress, maybe into this room. A lot of dead bodies to potentially have a nice little brawl with. It's going to be quite wonderful. I can't wait for them to spring alive, like so, and attack me in the face. Once you've got to grips with your enemy, if you are a Half-Life veteran, you will realise they do act like normal zombies, and that gives you a little bit more confidence when facing them, because you are aware of what's going on. Later in the game, you do get custom versions of fast zombies and poison zombies, and they really add to the mixture of enemies, really spice up the experience, and overall give you a lot more enemy variety, which is important in a horror game. It's automatic, and it got messed up a long time ago. I really hate that thing even wakes me up at night. The problem is, is that they're all automated and I can't figure out a way to shut the damn things down. It is a very nice plot device to give a person to work towards, someone who supposedly is going to help you, someone you who will get you out of this nightmarish, device. horrible situation also, that you do find yourself in. A lot like Dead Space, honestly, with areas. Isaac having to someone to constantly work towards. Equipment. That's what we call a funky jumping skeleton, a lovely horror technique which is used. If I was of the nervous disposition, that may have indeed scared me. Okay, we're back in this room. I did want to be back in that room just to make sure that everything that I'd killed was actually dead. This is what we call the ammo room. Back to the gun now, y'all. One hop this time. Okay. Ain't going on here. I'm taking this computer with me. You never know when a archaically old computer... Okay, this doll's locked. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to chill in this corner. My flashlight, of course, is disabled, but that's fine. Still can't leave. Anything going on out here? Nothing really. I guess I'll move further into the room. Really see what's going on. Just a little bit of atmosphere building there. Absolutely fantastic. And now we can move on into the depths of the hospital. The fantastic, well-crafted, atmospheric masterpiece mod. Definitely the best mod I've ever played. I could get a quick 360 degree scan of my body if I really wanted to go into this wonderful room and press buttons because pressing buttons in random rooms quickly before you run out of flashlight charge is of course the key to horror games now what else is the key is just brazenly running around this corridor where I know something horrible is going I mean lovely something wonderfully scary is going to happen is just fantastic it is a really good job 
honestly that I do love games like these and this is a really good example of a horror mod otherwise I might be finding this experience less than nice but fortunately I'm not thank you so much Evans for your contribution in this round one of forced reviews I mean even if it wasn't forced reviews I I'd rage perspective a game like this anyway because it really is a quality experience now the question remains is how do I go about unlocking the next area see what I mean about the addition of puzzles it really does make it quite awesome okay let's continue into this room I mean graphics wise obviously as I mentioned earlier is Half-Life 2 episode 2 standards the mod creators can't really do anything about that I'm thinking that there'll probably be something in this room that I require. Maybe I have to find some sort of key, some sort of ancient computer that no one cares about anymore. Something along those lines, maybe from the other office that I need to bring back here. I mean, clearly something needs to happen pretty soon. I mean, this is always a flaw in horror games because of the suspense it does create. You end up in these situations where you have to solve a puzzle, but the player often loses patience with the puzzle because the pressure and fear is mounting and mounting, and you don't really know what you're going to end up doing because, honestly, you're desperately trying to move on because you can't stand this atmosphere that's building up, so you kind of lose focus and have a harder time struggling with puzzles. That's why puzzles in horror games should pretty much generally be quite simple and apparent, otherwise you end up risking making the player be very exasperated, find it very difficult, and that's something that could possibly happen to me. I mean, it could if I didn't fucking love horror games, but I do fucking love horror games, so it's fortunate that that's not the case. For example, the puzzle I'm in now, I'm acting like a player who desperately wants out of this situation because I have a horrible feeling something horrible is going to happen, but is, is not able to successfully do the puzzle because of the puzzle itself. It's a situation that often I find myself in, and honestly, it's not the best game design I've ever seen, but still a quality mod so far. It definitely needs to be Strong magnetic field, the magnet's eye on another tree. Maybe it would help if I was to read the general area and generally do something that might actually help in some way. But honestly, this is this is just stopping my progress, so this is going a big mark on the record of this game. I mean pitch black is not fun. Not fun at all. Oh god. I mean, can't wait for the next scare. The next scare is gonna be really really fucking good. I'm looking forward to it so much. And I really have no idea what to do. But honestly guys, you've seen enough of this game now to get your own impression. I won't spoil this puzzle for you. Obviously I do know how to do this puzzle, I just don't want to at all spoil it for you. That would be quite inconsiderate of me. I've done chapter one, there is seven chapters, you can get a good maybe five hours of gameplay out of this game, which is a nice length for a mod, really is quite good. You definitely get your money's worth, which of course you would, because it is a free mod, which is fantastic. So story-wise, it really has upped from the first, that's great. Visually, it's Half-Life 2, what can you say, it's full of nostalgia in this horror environment, and honestly, I'm quite happy with this game. I'd have to give it, if I had to do it numerically, I don't like doing it numerically, because it's hard to sum up an entire game with a numeric value, but I would give it something along the lines of, you know, I'd, I'd say a 7. A good 7. Nice scare movements, definite upgrade on the story, a few puzzles that don't really make sense, but overall, a quality experience, one that I would heartily recommend. And yeah, seriously guys, get on this game, it's fantastic. My name has been Rage, I will see you all next time. A good bye. And review done. Okay. Review. Done. What you have to do, guys, alright, is consider the review I just did. Go watch the other Freeze People's videos, which will be on the out screen, outro screen. Links to all of them. Watch Flukes, watch Hollows, watch Evans's. Consider them all and vote in any video's comments. Vote Rage, vote Hollow, vote Evans, or vote Fluke for who you think has done the most convincing, positive, and entertaining review. And they will win. And what they win is they get to dictate the order we buy each other games in the next round. Assuming there is a next round, assuming you guys really do like the series. This was fantastic fantastic fun to do because I love horror games so I will see you all next time remember to vote remember to watch the other people's reviews yeah like favorite and share a good bye